Welcome to Recording School Online Videos. I'm going to show you a little trick now that's going to be something that you might not have thought you would need. Well, you might need it, and I'll tell you why. First, let me demonstrate it. We've got a track here that we've recorded, and of course, you're probably familiar with doing a mix down where you have to choose the beginning time and end time and export your track. Okay, but what if you could take any part of your mix or your entire mix, export it as you would normally, but also create an additional copy in your mix? In other words, two additional stereo tracks of the identical mix down, but with the rest of your tracks. Now, why would you need that? For a lot of reasons, let me, let me explain. Let's say that you like your mix, but you want to do a remix. Wouldn't it be nice to have access to hearing that remix directly right there in your mix? That's one application. Let's say another one would be you have a drum track. It would be great if you could turn those drum tracks into loops. Slice them up. Turn them into loops. Well, you can. This would enable you to do that. Another thing which was quite useful, is let's say you have VST plugins, which are just recorded as MIDI. Boy, wouldn't it be nice to have them as audio so you could deal with them effect-wise and process them as audio? Well, now you can. In other words, you can pick any track you want, not just the whole mix, import it immediately back into Cubase so that you can process it any way you, you would like. It's super easy. Just set up as if you were just going to do a mix down, pick the tracks you want to have, you have your start and end locations, go up to file, down to export, and pick audio mix down, just like you would do a standard mix down. Left click. Now, Cubase 6.5 allows you to go down to import into project simultaneously as doing the mix down or any type of individual mix down of individual tracks. All you need to do is click pull. We're going to create a pull audio track, name it, and uh, export it. And that's all there is to it. Now, let's say you wanted to take the drum tracks of one song and set it up as a totally new song. You just click Create New Project, and you got it. Really, really powerful tools. Most people don't know they have it. You can also choose which channels to export right here. Just click in the box, and you got it. So we're going to export that. And it's doing a mix down. Now we see import options. What we want to do is import it in. And if you need to convert to the sample rate of the project, you have that option. We definitely want to check copy file to working directory. Click OK. Close it. And there it is. Let's take a good look at that. Now, we can deal with that as we could any audio track. In other words, where we couldn't slice the video before, now we can get in there and use some of the features, the audio features, such as audio warp, uh, very audio, what have you, and slice up those individually and even quantize them or move them around because they're audio. So if you had... a MIDI tracks initially, like for instance, there are things you can do with audio tracks you cannot do with MIDI, such as flip them around backwards and do the backwards reverb you could only do back in the old days of tape. Well, now you can do it. So there's quite a few applications for this tr little trick, and now you know how to do it. Check out all our videos at Recording School Online.